Hi everyone. This is going to be um, my solution to problem A from Code Forces round 728. Um, by A, I mean division 2A. Um, it's called pretty permutations. <clears throat> so I want to assume that you've read the problem. If you haven't, I'll put it in the description. So basically, um, this problem is pretty easy in that you're literally only given one input. So there's only one thing that you have to care about. And the only input is n where n is just the size of a permutation that you want to create. So let's think of it like this. Um, this just, I think the easiest way to solve this problem is to just like take a larger n. So like, for example, if we took n equals six, this is what the um, initial permutation would look like, right? And one way you can think about it is that you want to use a minimum number of swaps such that, um, no element is in the, in the original position that it was. And so in this case, we can use three swaps to create a valid configuration. All we have to do is we have to swap the two and the one. We swap the four and the three. And then we swap the six and the five. And notice that um, this is a valid way to swap the elements. And not only that, but it's just, but this is also the um, the optimal way to rearrange the permutation. And the reason why is because when you do one move, it can change at most two numbers. So, and because we need to change up to six numbers, we need to use at least um, n over two moves. And in this case, we used exactly n over two moves. So that's why um, this is a best way to do it. Now, what if n was odd? So let's say, for example, n was equal to seven. And then we essentially had um, one extra number over here, seven. So what are we doing here? Well, there, we can't really like um, change two elements at once, like in this case, because we have an odd number of elements. However, what you can do is you can treat um, everything as a, you can do these pairing of elements. So you can like do the first two elements and then the next two elements and so on up and all the way until you have three numbers to left to change. And the way you change this, so that it's um, the, the valid ordering that minimizes the total distance is you just cyclically shift this elements. So if it used to be five, six, and seven, all you do is that you put the six over here, you put the seven over here, and the five essentially wraps around and goes over here. And so notice that this uses at most two moves in the sense that you can just swap the five and the seven and then swap the five and the six, and then it'll return to its original position. And we know that two moves is a minimum number of moves we need to um, rearrange a permutation of size three. And that's because we can never do it in one move because one move can only affect at most two numbers. And there's three numbers in this case that we have to change. So yeah, that's a solution to problem A. You just check to see whether it's odd or even. If it's odd, then like, you do pairs and then do this final group of three. If it's even, then you can just do pairs throughout the entire permutation. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below.